Track 1, Pirouetting to Nowhere. I quit. Two words. Two stupid little words. Subject plus verb equals, I get a whole new life. So why are they so hard to say? The backstage green room of the groovy rhino, the past its prime nightclub in downtown St. Louis where the Cobb family band is playing tonight, has stained carpets and lazily graffitied walls. Back in the 70s, my parents played palaces, places like Carnegie Hall in New York City and the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville. But I don't really remember the good old days. Instead, I'm stuck in the unimpressive present. The remnants of our dinner lay scattered on a geriatric folding table. Domino's pizza, wilted bag salad, and a jug of Sprite. My family already went out, which leaves me here alone, staring into a dirty mirror and trying to summon the courage to say two stupid little words. I quit. Rainy? I jump at the sound of my mom's voice. Our eyes meet in the mirror until I look away. It's time, she says. Let's go. I haven't seen the size of the crowd yet, but I can tell by her impatient tone that it's small. Again. The last four shows, we've sold a total of 12 CDs. Okay, I say. She turns to go. Wait, Mom? What? I quit. I quit the band. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm sorry your life didn't work out the way you wanted, but it's not my fault. I want a different life. Rainy, the house lights are already down, so if you have something you want, when we get home, I blurt out too nervous to even form a coherent thought, let alone say the two words I'd intended. When we get home, what? At the end of the tour, when we get home, I want to take a break. From this. The band, I mean. What are you talking about? I want to say more, but my words get tangled in my brain like hair in a drain pipe. I can't talk about this right now, she says. And then she's gone. That went well, I tell the girl in the mirror. I hurry out to the stage and sit down behind the piano, which at soundcheck earlier I discovered is way out of tune, has three, three broken keys, and a seriously janky bench that feels like it's about to drop me on my ass at any second. The Cobb family band plays a patented blend of R&B with a country flair and a bit of straight blues on the side. The first few songs are a blur, and I have trouble disappearing into the music. Usually, the second my fingers touch the piano keys, I forget about the fact that I'm a girl, with no friends, who's never set foot inside a school. That the long and winding career of Luce and Tracy Cobb, my famous parents, is on life support, and I'm forced to sit bedside and watch it slowly die. My mom barely looks at me the entire set, and when she does, her eyes burn with confusion and disappointment. I'm relieved the last song is an old blues standard instead of one of my parents' hits. I tickle out the opening chords I know so well, then feel the drums and bass slide in behind me. I close my eyes, fill my lungs, then sing the tale of a woman scorned. As the audience claps, I open my eyes, no longer a woman scorned with revenge in her heart, but a thirsty girl with sore fingers. My mom and brother go backstage, but my dad comes over and asks if I'm okay. He can always tell when something's not right. Come on, Rain Man, he says. Spill it. I'm fine, I say. I'm just going to stay out here and get something to drink. Willful teenager, he says. Grumpy old man, I say then drift alone through the sparse crowd, studying the floor. I smile meekly at Estelle, the punk bartender with the blue hair and the biker chick tattoo. Her eyes go to the stage, then back to me. I can feel her wondering how old I am. She fills my glass with coke from the spray gun and glides a lime wedge around the rim, nodding her head to trendy grunge on the house speakers. Killer set, she says. I knew your parents were awesome. My mom used to play their records, but 
Your voice is insane. Thanks. I sucked down a gulp, enjoying the bursts of lime before the bubbly sweetness. A guy in a cardinal's cap steps up. Estelle pours him a golden beer in a tall mug, and he drops his change into a jar on which a picture of Mr. T warns, I pity the fool that don't tip. Trendy grunge fades, and a U2 song starts. My brother Walden plops down on the stool next to me at the bar. The black X on his left hand matches mine. We sometimes joke we're in a secret gang called Black X. What happened with you and Mom? He asks. What do you mean? He eats some peanuts from a bowl on the bar. Mom hasn't said a word since the set ended, he says. And you're here by yourself. It was nothing, I say. In a dayglow mural behind the bar, a rhino in a pink tutu dances beneath a glimmering disco ball, eyes blissfully shut. You too becomes the Ramones, becomes trendy hip hop. Do you ever think about what it would be like to be a totally different person? I ask. Walden sips his Coke. Not really, he says. Do you? I shrug. I'm closer with Walden than anyone in the world, but even he doesn't know how bad I want to quit the band. The house lights dim. My dad plugs in his white Telecaster. My mom picks up her bass, then tap, tap, taps the microphone. Be careful what you wish for, Walden says, because with these crowds, we're all going to end up working at Sears. Come on, time to rock and roll. When I was a little girl and first starting to realize who my parents were, I'd stand on the side of the stage and watch them play. I'd feel the audiences loving them and dream of the day when I could be out there too. I thought I was the luckiest girl in the world. Estelle comes back over, wiping the bar with a white rag. Do you like being a bartender? I ask. It's okay, she says. I get to meet a lot of cool people. I smile. Were there other things you wanted to do? I ask. Before? Um, yeah, a million other things. Walden slaps his snare drum, a cue that I need to hurry up. Gotta go, I say. I sit down behind the piano and look at my mom, who doesn't look back. My dad calls out the first song and my hands kick into my parents' only top ten hit, Tell the Truth. My fingers banging the keys, my foot keeping time. I start singing, harmonizing with dad's lead. The audience presses forward. I watch them, watching me. Behind the bar, the dancing rhino is still stuck on the wall. Pirouetting to nowhere. <laughs>